Right, don't let fun in the sun put you at risk of skin cancer. Here to tell us about Melanoma Awareness Month is Dr. Susan Kindle from Melanoma No More, which is a great organization. You want to tell us quickly about that? Yes, it's an organization that was started by Dr. Philip Lemming, an oncologist here in Cincinnati, and family members of patients he had had who died of melanoma. Really? And it's been in existence for about six years now. And the whole point is we don't want it anymore. That's it's avoidable, correct. isn't it? Uh, if it's caught early, it is a cure, uh, almost 100% curable. Is it avoidable, though? Can you, can you, is it preventable? Uh, to a certain extent, yes. But there is a small percentage of uh, melanoma that's not uh, related to sun exposure. Now, we were talking in the break, and I learned some really fascinating things that I really hope that you could share with folks. One, we, I grew up in this era where we laid out, you know, you put baby oil on yourself, you know, you tried to get as dark as you could. So now I'm 42. At what age do we start checking out our bodies and making sure we're okay? Uh, it's not too early to start checking Ever. your skin. Exactly. Uh, start uh, the highest incidence of melanoma it, it's the most common skin cancer in the age group of 25 to 29 you looked at my arm I've got a couple spots on my arm I, I thought they were age spots I don't know what they are but you said they're, they're benign they're signs of maturity they're besides <laughs> okay I'll take that but we talked about tanning beds and so many young ladies who work here for example or that I know go to the tanning bed and you would tell them what that it's a shocking statistic but the risk of developing melanoma is 75 percent if you use a tanning bed regularly really yes and, and so when you saw that woman who has been in the news recently the very very tan woman does your heart just race absolutely <laughs> she um, not only looked old from being in the tanning bed but she's at a great increased risk of developing skin cancer and melanoma and really and truly what we need to do is pay attention to our bodies right absolutely um, being vigilant is the number one uh, preventable cause of skin cancer. I was telling you, my husband refuses to wear sunscreen. I know. He's, not, he's an intelligent guy, but not so smart. You would say what about sunscreen? Uh, wear it all the time. Apply it every hour to two hours while you're outside. Use a broad spectrum uh, sunscreen with both UVA and UVB protection. Okay, so there are some upcoming events with Melanoma No More. Will you tell us about those? Yes. Uh, first, we have Melanoma No More Day on uh, this Friday at 12 o'clock on Fountain Square, and we'll have a presentation about melanoma. Our goal is to raise awareness of melanoma in our local community. Um, we will be uh, hosting a booth at the Reds Games where you can stop by and get samples of sunscreen, as well as information on melanoma. We have our big fundraiser, the um, Melanoma No More Blues event, and it's August 9th at the Kenwood Country Club. And um, I think that's it, although we it's a lot. It's a lot we going did on. have 150 runners and I walkers come out for the flying pig. I saw this a lot of weekend. melanoma, no more shirts, which means you guys are getting that message out. Um, thank you for coming here and helping us get the message out as well. Dr. Kendall, okay. we appreciate that. Thank you, Tanya.